I first fell in love with the country of Albania, which is like a daily Jonestown massacre when you get there. But I fell in love with it when I was seven years old because I was with the measles and about eight days in bed and a strange woman in my neighborhood gave me as a gift a book called Wonder Tales of Albania and I read it over and over and over again. I read it for the beautiful of the earth and for the prince who changed his name into, a, a, he changed his body into a group of geese and also because someone who sold his birthright for a fish called the Quran, the same as the holy book of, of Islam. Well, 50 years later, I was editing a magazine in Budapest, in Hungary, and I realized that I would be able to get to this country of Albania an hour and a half trip. And I had a week off, so I decided I would fly there. As I said before, it's like a Jonestown massacre. It is filled with mud, muddy streets, all of the buildings are shattered with gunfire, cars are cannibalized lying along the street. It's a pretty terrible place and I had many, many good adventures there. But when I went to the foreign ministry, the, my contact there said, you cannot go to the north because it's war. You cannot go to the south because it is war. I said, what about the east? Just machine gun fire at night, you'll be all right. I said, that's fine with me. And I also found that this Koran fish would be in the east on the Macedonian border. And I said, have you had it? I've never been there, never had, but I hear wonderful tales. So I went the next morning on a Sunday to the bus station, sloshing through the mud, going through two feet of mud, getting in the bus which coughs and jerks and gets out on the road and stops and we push the bus and it goes on and on and the rain was coming down and the fog was horrifying and the pollution and two hours later we found ourselves on the lake in Macedonia called Lake Orid and in this town nothing you could see nothing because the fog was so horrifying it was so terrible the shops were closed it was a Sunday one shop was open a carpenter or a plumber or something and I went in and in what the one Albanian phrase I had learned was ko eshke peshke, ko eshke peshke, which means where is the fish <laughs> he obviously thought I, I he didn't know what to do but immediately he said Tremonde Lajahem, Tremondra Lajahem. Well, I thought that was the name of the restaurant. And I thanked him and I went out. And the people who were hooded in the fog, I would say to them, Tremondra Lajahemna, Tremondra Lajahem. Well, I found out later the word means lunatic, get out of my shop. And I was repeating that to everybody on the street. Sooner or later, I found myself on the road to this lake and I opened the curtains and there was the restaurant. And the restaurant, there was a table and the table was there with two older men and a beautiful, beautiful young woman. And I went in and with all the snow and mud, I said, fish, fishy, yum, 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 fishy. And she came over to me like um, Kim Novak in Vertigo. Beautiful, she says, what do you want? I said, oh, you speak English, that's good. All my life I have been thinking about this, this one dish, this Quran dish. I've gone over seas and mountains, gone on pilgrimages. I've been a haji trying to find this Quran fish. She said, well, it's only fish. Don't speak Shakespeare to me. It's <laughs> fish. What kind of fish do you want? Broil, grill? I said, one of each. So I had broil and grill. Quran with a bottle of Albanian wine, which, if nothing else, it kept the mud and the fog and the mire away. At this point, though, it was snowing outside, and there was no way to leave this horrible town of Ofrit. But she and her parents had a little car, a little Fiat or some sort of Italian car. She was going to the next door town of Corce. Next door, meaning we had to push and pull the snow came down, and my dreams were that I would spend the night with this woman. But no, they left me off at the Hotel Corte, which is actually, oh, it was a wooden building with lots of men with guns standing outside, which was good because I could hear the machine guns already and I wanted to be guarded. I got to the place, no electricity, of course, there was a bed, nothing else happened but 3 a.m., they burst into my room, the men, 
And they cried, Frank, Frankie, Frankie, he died, he dead, Sinatra, strangler in night. I said, oh my God, I thank them. When I got back to Tirana, it was the last day, it was raining like hell, and I went to what was the building of the public library, and I walked up, because I wanted to get out of the rain, a woman spoke English, and I said to her, do you have a book, Wonder Tales of Albania? There's all English books. All were locked up by last dictator. But I tried. Twenty minutes later, she came down with this blue-covered book and the winged horse on it. She gave it to me, and I sat in a private room, and I pushed the book away. I opened it, and I didn't want to soil it, because I turned once again into that child in the bed, with the disease and the book, and I wept like a child for the past. Thank you very much.